It is the 1st of January 1938 and the Spanish Civil War is coming to a close and to everybody's great surprise the Soviet forces have prevailed and we have managed to encircle the remaining nationalist forces in the east of Spain. There are some anarchists here as well but I don't think they are posing a serious threat. So we are currently running a pincer move where we are sending the mountaineers towards uh, Zaragoza and we're at the same time assaulting with tanks along the line here trying to uh, trying to cut off the troops around Pamplona in the north but uh, we will see how that goes I believe our air force yes our air force is actually in the air although uh, we our losses are probably mounting yes we have already lost 186 fighters 143 of those uh, in air battle trading for 17 enemy fighters so even our somewhat improved uh, our somewhat improved i16a's are no match for the uh, Luftwaffe's bf 109a's and uh, yeah especially with the modifiers that the soviet air force is getting so we're getting that we're trying to wrap this up here this is uh, an interesting development I haven't quite expected that it often goes a little bit uh, it's often a little bit random it depends if how lucky you get with uh, with certain things but uh, it worked reasonably well this time i've kind of had most mostly with the nationalists have won but in this case in this timeline it appears that that's not the case regardless uh, comrade stalin has heard that uh, trotsky has been located has been located in mexico so we will send our first um, our first operative uh, over to start uh, start building an intel network in Mexico and see if we can pin him down and figure out where exactly he is and uh, that we can get rid of him. Because due to the whole Trotsky thing, Stalin is rather um, unhappy. Uh, there, yeah, so, since the plot against his life and to overthrow communism and reinstall capitalism, which is what we're accusing Trotsky of, is happening we are losing a lot of stabilities and uh, it's generally annoying stalin's paranoia is at 18 percent but we are about to complete the workers dictatorship all power must rest with the workers and that'll reduce it again by 10 plus uh, uh, gives us some political power and all these kind of good things all right so let's get back down here after we've moved our after we have moved our uh, our spy and see if we can uh, make a breakthrough towards uh, towards uh, Zaragoza I think this is yeah this is an open mountain tile this is open hills that's not open but we can definitely uh, push towards it so uh, let's see how well that'll work and uh, there's only there's only a single nationalist guard uh, division here defending so our mountaineers should be able to break through there without too much trouble and we also do have to keep an eye on our production we're still building civilian factories and uh, I think in research uh, yes we're still researching construction okay the workers dictatorship has been completed and the work the will of the workers is expressed in the decisions of the Politburo yeah exactly so next up we can deal with a conspiracy in the military and I think yeah we just need to wait for the day to take over then we can then we can kick that off so uh, let's wait for that and then we can kick off the next uh, there it goes so we should be able now to select yeah the military conspiracy 35 day focus this will trigger a purge so we don't really need to do anything about the paranoia in the meantime because I do not want to run inspections on any of these and have people shot. Stalin has been shooting enough people here, as you can see by little crossed out pictures. So let's keep an eye on our mountaineers in the mountains and see if they can break through. I think the tanks are on an unplanned offensive, so that's going to rely on the air force to make something happen. But uh, the mountaineers should be able to break through this and, uh, and it started raining. And see if we can if we can make the break towards uh, Zaragoza. And I, in fact, I am actually kind of thinking to get the tanks to take out the the airport because that should hamper the Luftwaffe's uh, the Luftwaffe's focus quite significantly. 
and we're open here so all we need to do now is break through and hope that the um, hope that the nationalists are not going to cut us off okay so that's worked we are broken through here um, although I'm mildly concerned about the uh, about these troops these divisions here so I may actually uh, that's not active. That one is... Uh, th these are actually active, so I might actually just... Uh, this would be across the river, so we, maybe we can use the mountaineers because the tanks aren't breaking through anytime soon here. Uh, because we are also completely out of supply. So I will actually reroute uh, reroute these tanks. Or at least uh, the two of there. Where do we have supply in this region? Um, yeah, the supply from the north there is not great. Maybe this is unplanned, so we're not breaking through there either. None of this is a planned offensive, so uh, we're going to have trouble breaking through everywhere. But I think I'm going to change the... Uh, yeah, we're not breaking through in the north, so let's, uh, let's take our forces and instead concentrate here and uh, line up with the troops in, in uh, Zaragoza. So let's get these all moved over. No, no, not, not through enemy territory, through friendly territory, moved over here. And then uh, see that we can link up. And I'm going to move these mountaineers already across the river. And oh, this is dangerous. Uh, probably they, they should be completely out of supply now. So um, I'm going to move across here and then try to push these divisions out here. OK, they actually they're actually not as attacking us. And uh, I believe National Spain has just capitulated. Well, that was easy. Uh, 349 pieces of equipment have been seized, which means that, uh, yeah, they have uh, lost their capital and that was basically it. So now we just need to take Barcelona, which means the tanks can have a front line along the line here. And I want all five divisions there and we can delete that front line. And basically this one as well. They're, I don't think they have anything left here. This is just the anarchists. So I'm just going to walk. Uh, I'm just going to walk through here by through here manually. I was keeping an eye on the research. Construction is still underway. I think we need to start. Uh, we need to start the production focuses as well as soon as we can. Okay. Um, probably regain some. Uh, just go on the defensive here. So now that the uh, now that the the nationalists are gone. Uh, it's just the anarchists left, so uh, we'll, we'll give this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll reinforce the front line. Don't worry. We'll get there in time, and then, uh, and then the, this push will no longer happen. Uh, yes, we've got green air. The Germans are no longer in the air, and uh, that means hopefully fewer losses for us. Uh, we'll just let these regain, let these regain their um, their organization. And then we'll finish this off. I think uh, it's not going to be an awful lot longer because the the anarchist troops are uh, are severely depleted. What is the territory here? Uh, this is all mountainous. Uh, this is plains, so we can so we we can actually just get the um, we can get we can get the mountaineers up north, and we can use the tank divisions just to break through here and uh, basically just go straight for Barcelona. That should be sufficient. Uh, keeping an eye on the paranoia, 17%, but we're halfway through the focus, so that should be fine. Which means here we are just going to break through without any problems whatsoever. Uh, probably going to fan out a little bit and uh, make sure this division cuts these off in the south, whereas the other one moves, uh, moves on to Barcelona. That tank division is coming along uh, mountaineers in the north. We do not necessarily want to push into the mountains. In fact, actually, let's get mountaineers to go around and see if we can cut off these divisions here, because all these are extremely, are extremely weak. So um, I don't think there is an awful lot happening still. OK, there's one more airport, but uh, I think that's not an issue. So let's cut off these. No, let's no no here and here. Let's cut off these remaining divisions in the mountains here, and uh, just steamroll them completely. And we can. I mean, it's it's less than ideal, but we can as well just counterattack in the north here. 
and I think that's that leaves these divisions in the south completely cut off. We have taken Barcelona, and I think that should be pretty much it, right? Uh, let's kill this front line, assign these here, and this one as well. Uh, let's just keep capturing terrain. I don't think we need to kill any more any more Spanish uh, any more Spanish troops. I think uh, we are almost. Uh, Spain wants to move through, through, through our territory. Uh, not really, just yet. I'm not so sure about that. Uh, so here we, we'll just box them in for now. Uh, there, there's really no reason to. Uh, well, we, we can wipe out these current these divisions here, but I think we are pretty much done here. There's one more division. I think one more, one more victory point for us, and then the anarchists should be. Yep, and. The Re Regional Defense Council of Aragon has been annexed and that means the Spanish Civil War is over. Which means we can recall our attaché from Spain. There's no longer a need for that because Spain is no longer at war. Um, send that. And our divisions are going to return home and are going to be back in two weeks, which is great news. So that means uh, we can move on with our lives and we're almost ready to get the, I don't know, I'll try to pronounce that, the Gosproyektstroy, Gos, Gosproyektstroy, uh, the construction company, because this gives us a uh, factory construction speed, which is great and we need that. <laughs> I do like the other ones as well, I mean, they're all good, but uh, especially the industrial concern as well, the Stalingrad tractor factory. But uh, we, we would have to com we would have to complete um, uh, nationalist uh, national national specialists, and I think we've gone with foreign specialists. Yes, we've gone with foreign experts, which blocks this one. So uh, that ship has sailed. We do need to complete the third five-year plan. Uh, that should be coming up relatively soon, because. The one thing that I'm looking that I'm looking to do, and once these um, once the tank research is complete, we can do that next. And yes, I do realize that we are ahead of time with these, but I am trying to rush down the construction and uh, concentrated industry as much as possible, uh, even though it's ahead of time, because we will be getting some bonuses down this path here. So I want to get that done before before things go sideways. Anywho, uh, we have the military conspiracy happening in a couple of days, and uh, that's just the thing. Republican victory in the Spanish Civil War, the best possible outcome. With extensive Soviet aid, the Second Spanish Republic has finally defeated the anarchist and nationalist enemies and secured full control over Spain. Isolated pockets remain, but uh, unlikely further, it's unlikely that we find further coordinated resistance. So now they're going to be building, rebuilding their war-torn uh, cities and industry. And uh, Soviet pressure... Ooh, what, what are you talking about? Newspaper slander, I call that. Uh, and it remains to be seen whether the democratic Spanish government can remain true to its democratic principles. It will become simply an outpost of Moscow's influence in Western Europe. Nonsense! We have never done anything democratic. Uh, we, have, we have always assisted our communist brothers who are actually in the majority. Take that democracy. I thought rule of the majority is what's happening here. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Best possible outcome indeed. Okay, uh, what else do we need to look at now that that's over? Uh, we are building, we are building the in, uh, already an, an informer network and uh, at some point we will actually have to do something with these troops that we're gathering here. And these divisions, uh, let's see, what did I have here? Uh, these were the mountaineers, this was cavalry, uh, this was regular infantry, regular infantry, regular infantry. But this, that is the, um, oh no, this is actually the, I thought this was army group, army group west. Oh, this is the other theater, right. Okay, so in the Asian theater, uh, we have... Uh, we've got some troops on the Japanese border, which aren't doing too hot. We need to do something here. Um, and they also need, apparently they need a, uh, they need a commander there, which is uh, confusing. Uh, Vlasov, okay, so Vlasov has actually returned. No, so these divisions can return to the, uh, which one was it? This one. We can return here for now. And uh, we'll see. 
these guys are currently not having anybody, so uh, we can assign Vlasov here. So he can make himself useful in the east. Actually, no, we might need him in the west. So as soon as as soon as we'll create another army group uh, or another another army in the European theater, then then he can head that. But for now, we'll just uh, we'll just try filling up, trying filling up these divisions here and making sure that we have full army groups. Uh, the Finns are seeming to be massing troops on our borders, and I'm not too happy about it. So I might actually already move a um, a regular army group. Just to be sure that the Finns don't do anything silly, uh, let's see. Can we can we just move them on the uh, and plan an offensive towards Helsinki just in case? And we might, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll just move some troops up north. Uh, we'll see. Yeah, our influence. Spain becomes a puppet of the Soviet Union due to the heavy. Uh, to the heavy nature of our involvement in Spanish civil war, our influence over the Spanish government has expanded to the point where they are effectively a satellite state to Moscow. Perfect. <laughs> uh, we have slightly deviated from the historical timeline, uh, not what I was planning for, but you know, uh, sometimes things work out that way. So uh, that's all. That's all. That's all gone. That's all gone our our way. Uh, better than fascism, I'll tell you that much. Uh, the supply situation in in the north here is um, how am I going to put this? Uh, dreadful. How many trucks do we have? Oh, we've got some decent amounts of trucks by now, so we're probably going to give this army. Uh, actually, no, these are the NKVD troops, not this one. Who have I just sent to Finland? These guys. Uh, we're probably going to give them uh, motorized transport for now. And uh, just to make sure that they are actually somewhat supplied at the front lines. But yeah, this is not great. And there is bugger all supply in the north here anyway. So we'll see how that look, how that's going to look like. Um, but uh, we'll, we'll send them to the front for now. And they'll just have to make do. Uh, the Soviet Air Force. What have we got left of the Soviet Air Force? We've got... Um, <laughs> We've got the fighter wing, which has, has taken so many losses that they've completely lost all their experience, which is um, a shame, really. But we have enough political power to get the uh, Gosproyekt Gospro that thing. There we go. And we have additional construction speed, which is great because we're going to need it. In fact, we are going to uh, uh, we are going to start building some more. Uh, we're going to be building some more factories in the north and uh, do we have we, we can start building a bit further out here because we now have we now have some infrastructure so uh, do we have any infrastructure anywhere else there we have some infrastructure and here we do so we'll build out we'll build out some more some more factories over there but still 1938 uh, our stockpile strategic bomber we've got a decent stockpile of fighters so uh, this is yeah this is the strategic bomber wing don't really need them but we have a decent stockpile of fighters I am uh, inclined to get them to train actually so uh, let's get a new air wing out um, I mean, we can we may as well use these up they're they're useless anyway so let's get these all used up uh the i16s okay and we've got uh, tactical bombers which we leave in stockpile because we're no longer building these anyway but we will need to start building um we need soon we will need start need to start building uh, close air support because that is going to be super important but for now let's train up these fighter wings we have got we've gotten a decent amount of army experience i'm saving that up for now because i can always get the doctrines on the quick if I need to from the army experience but uh, just making sure that I need that for something else and then I believe 23% but we're almost done here I think I can speed this up a little bit let's see what the supply situation in the north is going to be uh, just checking 26% uh, oh oops we're in danger territory but it's only a day off so uh, military conspiracy has been completed Evidence that there is a large Trotskyist network in the army is quickly growing. Each day the NKVD is arresting new suspects implicated in previous confessions. See, this is the problem, right? If you torture people until they confess to whatever the hell you, you ask them to confess to, just so you would stop torturing them, 
uh, that means that the intelligence you get out of that uh, basically implicates other people because they literally just have to name names that they can come up with. And then you, you arrest these people and you torture them until they tell you anyone just to, so you stop torturing them. And that the cycle continues. So uh, it'll take some time to track down the generals. But for now, we are going to shoot on. This is actually a problem. <laughs> We're going to shoot uh, Tukhachevsky, Yegorov, uh, Mblyukia, uh, Primakov. And uh, yeah, that's that's it. So unfortunately, uh, Field Marshal Mikhail Tukhachevsky, <laughs> who is actually who is uh, one of my more capable <laughs> <laughs> is going to be shot. Um, Yegorov is, is going to be shot. Uh -huh. Mbjuker is going to be sh going to be shot. Uh, fortunately, Zukov is not going to be shot. Uh, who else was going to be shot? So we we'll lose Tukhachevsky, Yegorov, Mbjuker, Primakov, and I think that's it. Uh, where is Primakov? Uh, do I care about having him shot? Uh, okay, this is a lot of them. Primakov. Um, yeah, I do kind of. He's sort of not bad, but um, well, he's gonna get shot. So uh, this actually will then reduce red 56. So this brings us back to 6%. So let's do that. Uh, this will unfortunately cause some. Uh, yeah, we've got some holes now in our field marshal uh, field marshal orders, but. Um, this will also mean that some of my, my generals now re receive the cowed by Stalin trait. Uh, I'm not sure where I can actually see that. Uh, yes, so Zukov is afraid <laughs> because he just saw all his colleagues being shot, uh, which now means he has two at minus two attack, minus two defense and a couple other debuffs. Um, uh, so we do need the lessons of war focus to remove these uh, to remove these things and the lessons of war focus is I believe somewhere in the army tree uh, yeah here so we do need to get through we do need to get through rehabilitated military and then lessons of war uh, and we need desperate measures and uh, uh, what does that need Okay, we actually need to... Oh, dear. We can't even do that until we're at war with Germany. Okay, well. Yeah, so everyone's afraid of Stalin because he just had somebody, sh some people shot, which means I'm going to need new field marshals. So, um, uh, Mr. Bud Budioni, uh, you also cowed by Stalin, but I don't really have an alternative, so uh, I'm going to put you in charge for now. And in uh, the army group West, we're going to put uh, uh, Voroshlyov. And I think the Asian theater does not have a field marshal. Um, doesn't even have a general, to be honest. Okay, that might be something we need to check. Um, who can we send over there? It's mostly infantry. Do we have anybody who's got an idea about infantry? We've got a commando and an infantry officer. Kuznetsov, he might be quite good. I don't want to send people to Siberia. Um, I think Vlasov needs to operate in the... Uh, somebody I don't really miss. Yeah, you can send you over there. And then we get an army group and we have no more field marshals, I believe, because everybody's been shot. So we're going to have to start promoting people to field marshals at some point. Um, but uh, we'll deal with that when we uh, will deal with that at a later stage. The Asian theater is not that important for us right now, unless the Japanese are kicking off some nonsense. Uh, unfortunately, we are slightly problematic in terms of supply. But yeah, because there is no sun. There is none. Um, because we need more railways, that's sort of the problem here. We don't get enough supply. Uh, we can try to set this army onto onto truck supply and see if that makes things better. It does, actually. Oh, the Germans are spreading the Anschluss of Austria. And I actually need to get a new national focus. So how does it look like up north here? and uh, not great these troops don't have supply we are going to need a supply hub here of sorts because we are even with trucks we can't really reach the front line i think it is probably uh, a better choice to for now just create a fallback line along our supply lines here and not directly sit at the front so let's do that for now and assign everybody to that and delete that front line because uh, we obviously don't have the supply 
to do anything. But uh, Germany is expanding. Um, so currently they are still a reliable trading partner or science partner. But uh, yeah, we have our suspicions about these people. Anyway, I have to pick a new focus. Let's see what's next on the list. Uh, behead the snake. Yes, uh, we do need to. Uh, that's a 30 day, 35 day focus, which decreases paranoia by 30%. We still need to do the block of rights and Trotskyites. It's not rights as in you have it, you have them. It's just rights in terms of right right wing people. That's what that means. But we need to uh, keep ourselves busy for 175 days with that. So uh, we may as well assassinate this guy in the meantime. And uh, that'll decrease our paranoia. So let's do that. In fact, I am almost thinking because we are at 6%, but it's growing by 3%. Yeah, this is it's growing rapidly at this point. So and we can't really we can't really fake anything anymore for now. So we might just have to we might just have to play along for the time being. But uh, that's what we're going to be doing next. I have taken the yes, I have taken this one. We can improve that later on. We need to get rid of, of Yagoda. He keeps shooting everybody. <laughs> and <laughs> that's a bad thing. Anyhow, I think uh, that's it for today. Successful conclusion of the Spanish Civil War. And um, we don't really have anybody to fight at the moment. Uh, we might try to assist the Chinese. There is a bit of communism over here. So given that we have managed to successfully spread our communist influence in Europe, maybe uh, maybe influencing influencing the the Chinese towards more communism because they seem to be holding against Japan just fine uh, might not be a terrible thing well we'll see about that and that'll come up in the next episode and that's it for me today thanks everybody and I will see you next time bye bye